Now example 3.5, free fall. Discuss the motion of an object under free fall. Neglect air resistance. Now, see here, we have the equation of motion with constant acceleration R V equal to V0 plus AT, X equal to V0 T plus half AT square, V square equal to V0 square plus 2 AX. Now, if we think about the free falling body, then for free falling body, initial velocity that is always zero. And when it is under the effect of gravity, then its acceleration that is equal to acceleration due to gravity. And that is also constant one. So we have to take acceleration that is equal to G. But in previous example, we discussed this thing. Whenever the body is moving either in upward direction or in downward direction, but under the effect of gravity, then always G that will be negative one. So in these three equations, if we take for free falling body, initial velocity that is equal to zero meter per second and acceleration that is equal to minus G. Then we can write the first equation V equal to V zero plus AT as V equal to zero minus GT. So that is equal to minus GT. Now here X that is the displacement is replaced by Y because the motion is vertical one. So distance is traversed in vertical direction. So Y equal to zero minus half GT square. So that is minus half GT square. V square equal to zero minus two GY. So V square equal to minus two GY. Now see, first equation, V equal to minus GT value of G that is 9.8. So you can write V equal to minus 9.8 into T. So here we can say this thing, velocity directly proportional to time T. And here if we draw the graph of velocity versus time, then that will be a straight line graph. And here at any instant, the velocity is negative. Negative means it is in downward direction. So graph is represented in the fourth quadrant. And for velocity time graph, if you find out the slope of it, then that gives you the acceleration. And in this particular case, the slope of velocity time graph, that will be equal to gravitational acceleration. Then after second equation, y equal to minus half gt square. So that is equal to minus half g that is 9.8 into t square. So y that is equal to minus 4.9 into t square. So we can write y proportional to t square. So if we draw the graph of y versus t, then that will be a cow as shown in the figure and at any instant y is negative. So it is represented in the fourth quadrant. Now, if we draw the graph of acceleration versus time, now acceleration that is constant one, that is equal to G value is 9.8, but it is negative. So here at minus 9.8, we have to prepare a straight line parallel to time axis means with time, it is not changing. So this one is the graph of acceleration versus time for free falling body. Clear to all of you.